Hi guys, this is Taylor and this is my persuasive speech and here is my audience of my mother and brother and father. Okay, and I am using my computer to show my slides on an iPad. Okay, here we go. So, imagine being nationally known. People from all over the country watch and cheer you on every game day. Imagine your jerseys and your memorabilia being sold all over. Now imagine not seeing a dime from your name. This is the life of a college athlete. Okay. Being a college athlete and making it to the pros is a dream for millions of Americans. But for some, that dream can easily turn into a nightmare. Now I know you're probably thinking, what does any of this have to do with me? Well, sports is something that connects people from all walks of life. And one thing that also connects people is the struggle of being a college student. So, I myself am a sports marketing and media student, and I have been studying this topic for a few years. And I'm here to tell you why college athletes should be paid. It's no secret that college sports generates billions of dollars for college sports programs. We're not just talking sports anymore. It's a business. There are billions of dollars being made and players are not being paid for it. That bi those billions come from just uh, basketball and football alone. Now, I've talked about those billions, and that just comes from ticket sales, jerseys, memorabilia, video games, you name it. The biggest problem is selling the likenesses of these players. Now, how mad would you be if someone sold something with your face or your name on it, and meanwhile, you couldn't pay your bills or feed your family? Um, Mark Edelman states that the NCAA currently produces nearly $11 billion in revenue for college sports. And that's more than the NBA and the NHL. So how much do the players make? Well, college athletes literally receive no comp compensation from any of this. This is mostly because schools believe that the players are being paid in a good education. However, that's not the case. I'm going to tell you the story of a college athlete. He comes from a poor background and of course he can't pay his bills with a good education and getting money from anywhere else will result, him being, result in him being suspended on the biggest game day of his career. That athlete was Jamar Samuels. He was suspended for just that reason. He accepted just $200 in cash while the NCAA was paid billions to broadcast that game. Players have basic necessities. You know, scholarships only cover housing and tuition and meal plans and textbooks, okay. which all seems fair until you realize that the athlete's jersey is being sold for over $100 and, you know, they have to eat, you know, ramen for dinner. So, um, let's see, change the slide here. And um, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was actually speaking on why he um, thinks that college athletes should be paid. And he's, his statement was, despite the hours I put in every day practicing and learning plays and traveling around the country to play games, and despite the millions of dollars our team generated for UCLA, both in cash and in recruiting students to attend the university, I was always too broke to do much but study and practice and play. So, I'll this back. And then we get back to this. So, I believe that paying college athletes is morally sound. Now, while these athletes are dead broke, um, the NCAA um, executives are making close to a million dollars a year. I believe that compromise is the answer. I'm not saying that players should receive thousands of dollars, 
but I think they should at least receive a small stipend um, throughout the semester so they can also learn how to um, take care of their money. It also gives them an opportunity to have spending money and to be able to live a decent normal life. So basically I've just touched on the benefits of paying college athletes and um, I, not only is it the right thing to do ethically but it also greatly benefits the players. So college athletes should be paid for the billions of dollars in revenue that they generate for schools. And hard work should be recognized. Um, a good education does not equal compensation. And the answer is simple. Pay or don't play. Thank you. It's my audience again. <laughs> All right, thank you for watching. Bye.